Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Beyond Infinity Tarot channel. I hope you are doing well. So today's topic is uh, how your crush see you. Okay, so you have uh, three passages from and before we begin with your reading, I would like to tell you that this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you, okay? And uh, if, uh, if you feel like this pile is not resonating, choose another pile or different reading, okay? So you have three passages from. So pile one is going to be take action. Pile two is going to be ask for help. And pile three is going to be big happy changes. Okay, select your option you feel most drawn to. And let's start with your reading. Hi pile one, so you chose take action. This is going to be a reading. I feel like you have a very intense crush on your crush pile one okay so you may tend to hide from this person or you don't try to look at them because you feel very intense feelings for this person okay so how this person sees you okay this person okay this is a kind of pile okay uh, where your crush has a crush on you too okay maybe uh, they are kind of confused right now about their feelings about you okay not going to lie so they also try to hide from you because they kind of feel some kind of intense energies okay when they see you they feel kind of different feelings for you i feel like you'll know this person for a long time or maybe you are seeing this for a person um for like a month or something and uh, slowly for this person like they are kind of developing some sort of feelings towards you okay so we will see what kind of feelings they are feeling but that's what i'm getting and um and you feel like it's uh only from your side but i feel like this person kind of feels some ways for you as well and they feel like if they don't hide from you or they don't uh if they don't uh try to um you know so what i'm wait wait okay they they feel like they need to hide from you or they need to ignore you or avoid you or else they will take certain action that they might regret because of their impulsive nature okay the because of the intensity of the emotions that they are feeling not anything bad okay maybe they will tell you their true feelings or something like that okay that's what i'm getting here because you have the take action card okay so this person may be very good looking okay and they find you attractive as well okay that's what i'm getting this is the the thing maybe this person have never show uh, any interest in you but this this person may act like they don't care about you but this person do care about you okay this person do notice okay what you do well, how you look who you talk to and things like that okay that's what i'm getting okay let's see okay so again this is a general reading okay so take what is this you know your situation better so take the messages oh okay okay we have the king of cups <laughs> have your crush sheet sees you okay okay i don't know i feel like uh, your uh, okay your crush sees you someone who is uh, who may be uh, a little too emotional okay or someone who yes very emotional person okay that's what i'm getting you have the four of sword at the back of the day i have to clarify every card okay why the king of cups in reverse here this is about going to come out okay um clarify the ten of cups oh no ten of cups oh, ten of pentacles yes sorry okay you know what okay what wow okay with that i said ten of cups right so uh you're <laughs> So your crush think okay they are thinking a negative thing about you on purpose they are trying to find it's not negative things but it's like they are trying to find something uh in you so they can uh you know uh they can tell themselves like yes this pile one is like that so you shouldn't catch feelings for pile one okay because pile, pile one is someone with someone else or pile one has this kind of a quality that uh, your crush doesn't like so they would not get attracted to you anymore okay this is kind of they are trying to <laughs> okay they are trying to tell themselves that not the ways to not they are finding ways to not to catch feelings for you okay this is the vibe i'm getting from this person okay okay hmm. 
And whenever they think about you, they smile, okay? They smile a lot, okay? And they think about you quite a lot, okay? When they are by themselves. Okay, why the page of swords here? Not surprised with the world card here. And uh, queen of cups, okay? And uh, the six of swords, right? <clears throat> and clarify. I have a sword here. <laughs> not, not, not surprised. Yeah, okay. And you have judgment, okay? So, the back of the deck, yeah. So, what I'm getting from this card, okay, I don't know why, but I feel like you may have fight with this person, or you may have small argument, or this person may try to pick a fight with you, okay, or maybe a disagreement, so it doesn't have to be a big fight, okay, because they want to, uh, they don't want to feel what they are feeling, okay, they are just so trying so hard to not get involved into their feelings, okay, about you. That's what I'm getting. And uh, the King of Cups in reverse and Seven of um, Cups. I feel like they, uh, your uh, crush sees you uh, like you have a lot of options available to you. Okay. And uh, you are a very a stable person. You are a very family oriented person. And also you are a very like Empress kind of energy. They are seeing you as a very feminine here. Okay. Or someone who is very in tune with their feminine energy. Or someone who may have a lot of feminine influence. Or you may have a lot of friends who are feminines. Okay. Or with the feminine energy. Or you may do something very creative. And you are very intuitive as well. And you, with the world card, they find you very attractive, by the way. This is the thing I'm getting. Okay. And uh, with uh, here, with the Page of Sword energy. Okay. And Six of Sword and wall okay they try to avoid you this is what i'm getting okay this this person feels like they need to avoid you okay that's what i'm getting with the six of sword and uh, the wall card your crush sees you as someone who may have dealing with certain issues in their life someone who is ending certain chapters or you may be uh, moving to a different place or uh, you have moved to where your crush is okay that's what i'm getting okay i'm getting very okay they get distracted by you a lot okay they even they are working they kind of think about you that's what i'm getting they feel like you are distracting them okay from their goals okay that's what i'm getting it okay so don't get offended okay by this reading i'm just picking up the energies i'm just telling you what i'm seeing here okay and uh, the five of sword and the nine of uh, pentacles here and the nine of sword okay they find you super super independent someone who loves to be uh be very fine okay they find you very fine okay very fine very elegant very much in tune with the you know very luxurious good things and you very smells good okay you put a lot of effort in getting ready uh, being a very presentable uh, talking and uh, uh, behaving in a certain way is very elegant way that's what I'm picking up on with the knight of sword okay this person wants to take an action towards you this is very like i'm getting a confirmation and for the judgment card i'm the back of the day i'm getting okay so this is the scenario i'm getting either it's a past person who may have a crush on you okay so you may have ended things with or this is a completely new person but this person feels like they don't have a chance with you but they want to try okay that's kind of vibe i'm getting from this person okay what else you know yes there is a communication coming in for you soon okay maybe you are manifesting this communication or this person they are they don't they want to have a communication with you okay that's what i'm getting another king of pentacles and eight of wands okay Your crush sees you, the day, I don't know why, but I'm getting their feelings here. They want to show you how dependable and dependable they are, okay? They can take care of you. They can provide for you. They want to show you off, okay? Their qualities or their wealth, okay? That's what I'm getting. Your crush sees you as someone who is also very grounding, 
someone who values money someone who is very um very much into um you know materialistic things okay that's what i'm getting or someone who loves to loves to be taken care of that's what i heard and you have the seven of wands at the back of the deck and uh, this person uh, sees you as someone they have to fight for unless they won't get you okay that's what i'm getting with the eight of wands and king of pentacles when uh, they want to approach you but in a way where you can't resist this person anymore okay so they are finding ways they are looking for a ways so, so they can come towards you in a very uh, powerful way or in a way where you are going to be impressed by them okay so this person feels like they need to impress you otherwise you won't be interested in them because they are seeing you someone who is a very uh, someone who is a very stable independent someone who is a very um, um, balanced and someone who is also i'm just getting wealthy okay someone who looks very rich or they are into uh, becoming a rich person okay that's what i'm getting or someone who is very uh, career focused or someone who values money finances and financial stability or someone who values to being in a live in a very um, good life or luxurious life okay that's what i'm getting so this person feels like they need to um, they need to be that person so they can impress you okay that's what i'm getting Anything else? Yes. Seven of Wands. And Queen of Swords here. Your crush also sees you. Okay, they, uh, even though they are just thinking about, I don't know why, but they, okay, they have like a mixed reactions about you. Okay, part one. Okay, one time they are thinking about the, you are only materialistic. I told you they are trying to think some things that are not true about you because they don't want to be overly excited about you. But deep down they know that you are struggling right now or you are fighting for something or you are defending yourself from something or you are overworking yourself and you are dealing with your own stuff in life. Okay, and uh, with the Queen of Sword energy, it's not very, uh, it's, uh, it's not been a very easy journey for you and you have to be like in a very defensive mode for some time and deep down they have a lot of sympathy and empathy for you it's not like they are hating on you i don't know why but this person is intentionally uh trying not to get too excited about you because you make them feel this eight of ones okay that's what i'm going to say okay they want to rush into uh i don't know why but i feel like they want to be in a connection with you so bad with the knight of sword and eight of eight of wands energy that's the energy i'm getting from this person okay that's why they are just trying not to think about you um as much as they are doing right now okay so that's what i have for you pal one i hope messages resonated and i'll see you next time bye live in peace hi pal two so you just ask for help from others this is going to be your reading so your crush sees you as someone who is who likes to help others who has a lot of empathy towards others okay and who always try to bring positivity in uh, others life and who who loves to help others to see uh, good in them okay that's how they see you i feel like your crush sees you someone who needs protection someone who uh, they see you as you need help okay for some time you need some guidance you say you need some um, guidance in terms of whom to trust and how to actually protect yourself from people who may not have a best interest for you okay i'm getting mentor vibe okay either you or your your crush is a mentor or someone uh, who guides others or someone uh, who advises others okay that's the vibe i'm getting okay let's see how about you if you're drawn to pile one you can watch a reading okay i need to take this first Hmm. 
I feel like someone is saying that they want to know if their crush has feelings for them. Okay, I'm not okay. I I was I was saying in my mind that I won't be able to give you the exact answer. If if it came in card, I will let you know. And this this is the card that came out. Okay, so page of cards, king of wands. For some, I feel like this person is older than you, okay? Or they see you as someone who is a younger or someone who has a very youthful energy or someone who needs certain guidance, okay? And uh, they are representing here with the king of wands energy, someone who is a mature. They may be uh, at your age, okay? Or they may be same as your age or they may be a little bit older than you. It doesn't have to be. Um, but they are more mature than you are that's how they feel okay that's how they see you they see they see you as someone who is a very younger or someone who i don't know but i feel like your crush sees you as someone who easily trusts others okay this is kind of vibe i'm getting like your crush sees you that like uh, you have this energy where you kind of put, go with the flow okay quite too much with the page of cups they see you as a very so someone who is also loves to socialize a lot someone who has a great fashion sense or someone who who, is be, who can be very um, creative okay with the page of wands they do definitely want to tell you okay about how they feel okay they may they may not tell you right away okay by the way they will try to give you guidance. Maybe they uh, guide you sometime, time to time, or they may try, try to give you advice. I feel like with the Three of Cups energy, they may be in your friend circle or you are friends with them. Okay? So, they care about you. That's why they, I feel like they give you advice from time to time, or they try to tell you, uh, you know, do this or do that, or uh, whom, who you should trust. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Very trust energy I'm getting with the ten of pentacles energy and also they see you as someone who is also very good with opportunities good with money someone who may come from a very good family wealthy family someone who has a uh, um, great values um, and uh, compassion for others because you have uh, you have um, you have got these values from your families okay how to treat others with respect and care that's what i'm getting with the two of wands energy and nine of wands there may be some distance or your crush sees you as someone who wants to travel or someone who is also always on the go someone um, they see you as someone who likes to ta take actions okay without thinking okay you don't put too much thought about doing certain things you just go with the flow or you just take action because you feel like doing it and uh, still you kind of uh, manifest a lot of opportunities in your life and uh, you are doing pretty good in life that's how they see you okay with the king of wands i feel like this person more like they see you as someone who may have a very great potential to bring out lot of good things okay who can manifest a lot of good things who can uh, who is literally uh, able to get this ace of pentacles okay if you put your energy into right places okay that's what i'm getting um okay your crush sees you as an i don't know why but i'm getting an opportunity to start over or or uh, you are kind of a very new person to this your crush okay that's what i'm getting your personality and your vibe is very new to your uh, your uh, crush okay that's what i'm getting and they are kind of admire how you do that and they uh, for sometimes they feel like they can be uh, as carefree or as uh, go with the flow like you are because they have to be very restricted or maybe they have to be uh, very responsible at all the times and they want to just uh, lose themselves a little bit or they want to be um, they want to be that uh, you know the person who can be themselves but you have to get this opportunity you get this you get to have this kind of um, 
privilege to be yourself okay that's what i'm getting that's how they feel about you that's that's how they see you okay they're saying that they want to learn how you do it okay that's what i'm getting so how about this course see how to hmm. okay 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 the fabulous sword at the back of the deck They definitely feel uh, deeper feelings about you, okay, pal, too. Um, but there, there are something, there is something, okay, there is a, some sort of issue with the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups and King of Cups and Five of Swords at the back of the deck, okay. They want to be, they want to kind of start something new with you, okay, but they feel restricted because of something. They Because of some sort of responsibilities, it could be that they are into a solid relationship right now, but they are kind of attracted to you as well, or you are attracted to someone who may be in a relationship, okay? I'm not judging, just saying, with the King of Cups here, and the Seven of Swords, and they feel like they... They're not satisfied with their life, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. And they see you as this Ten of Cups energy. You kind of make them feel happy. And they are not happy with their life, okay? And with the Seven of Swords and the uh, Four of Cups and King of Cups. Or, okay? Or, this person feels like there is something that they are not seeing about you okay with the five of sword at the back of the deck okay so it could be like a yes that they they feel like there there is something that they are not seeing okay uh with this kind of cups there there is some sort of a illusion that you may have around you okay At least they are kind of see. It's not like you are lying or something, but they are they are feeling that way. Okay, so this is like a two types of messages I'm getting. But let's see, clarifying with this, uh, you know, ones here. I don't know. I just feel like this person is a very like a very intellectual. This person is very logical. Okay, this person doesn't think with their heart. With the King of Cups energy, they are a very like a. They are very closed off, okay, emotionally, this person, whoever this, uh, your crush is, okay, that's what I'm getting. And uh, clarify this, uh, seven of swords, okay, even if you are just, it's not, it's, it, it doesn't have to be, okay. If someone is not feeling, um, maybe someone is seeing something negative about you, it doesn't have to be always you, okay, pal, too. Don't get it in the wrong way. Maybe there is some sort of healing that this person needs or this person may have suffered any uh, types of uh, deceptions in life, okay? So they it's, a, it's hard for this person to open up even or this person is very closed off emotionally so they can think about um, or they can see this th things uh, clearly, okay, with the five of pentacles here. Um, seven of swords is here, the tower and uh, four of cups. Nine of sword and the two of cups. Two of pentacles, not the two of cups. Or the king of cups, you see. Okay. Back of the deck, you have the queen, queen of sword energy. Okay. This for, for this person for the for, for how your crush sees you. This person feels like if they try to take uh, the connection that you are to right now having. If they try to uh, make a move or if they try to be something more than what they what you guys are now, things may go wrong. Okay, that's what they are thinking. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. I don't know, but I feel like this person may also have so certain feeling about you or they're not liking the fact that they can't have you or they, you will be with someone else, okay? 
in uh, no time or in near time okay that's what i'm getting uh, or um, okay this is like a, a types of messages i'm getting so take what resonates with you okay and uh, with the tower of card in the seven of swords and uh, you kind of shattered have some sort of illusion uh, they have uh, like shattered some illusions that they have about you okay and they are regretting what they have thought about you earlier okay with the nine of sword and two of pentacles energy they kind of realize that they are uh, looking you or looking um, some not so right things about you okay or they are seeing things not not clearly with the nine of sword and two of pentacles they have to make certain decision right now okay they feel like they need to make certain decision about you with the seven of pentacles here okay 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 nine of pentacles and okay for this person is per this person is very going through a very heavy emotions right now okay so i'm just going to tell you what they are feeling okay they how they see you so for some i feel like this person wants to um uh, build a certain connection with you and they feel like they can they can't do it because of some restrictions or they feel like they need to work on themselves okay to be able to uh take things on the next level or you may be in a work setting with this person okay for some and they, this person feels like they can, they have to be uh, you know very professional otherwise things are not going to go well or they may have someone okay right now and they are not happy with that person and when they see you they feel like they there is some sort of hope that they have they feel like they can heal or you can help this person to come out of a certain situation or you may already help this person in some issues or they may have they may help you they may have helped you in the past okay that's what i'm getting so um yeah that's what i have for you Part two. I feel like this person needs to figure out their what they are truly feeling, or they have to uh, cut through this uh, whatever that situation with this five of pentacles and nine of swords that they are facing right now, in order to get a clear thinking. Because this person, I feel like this person needs healing. Okay, so they can able to see the things in a uh, clear things in a clear situation. So I'm not going to. I'm not okay. I just saw. 14 14 so it may be resonating with someone so i'm not going to say that uh, like what the conclusion with this person's feeling or the how they see you but this is what i get okay so they feel like this this is like i'm i'm just attracted to this both parts like ten of cups and ten of wands okay if the, this person sees you as ten of cups but this person feels like it can go the ten of wands okay so they are not sure okay that's what i'm getting they are not sure about themselves that they are that's why they are confused with you as well so they and this person understand that they are they have to they have to understand their own feelings in order to understand you okay so that's what i have for you pal too i hope messages resonated and i'll see you next time bye love and peace hi pal three so you chose big happy changes this is going to be your reading so have your crush sees you so first thing i heard like windy okay so it means something to someone okay this person sees you okay your crush sees you as someone who is a very um girlings someone who is very feminine someone who is a very like a ray of sunshine kind of a vibe i'm getting and uh this person okay whoever your crush is is very completely opposite from you and they are very like introverted maybe they love to uh, li like a dark aesthetics or they have like a fan of a dark things okay dark things i mean dark colors or very introverted very like uh being with their own company not talking too much very silent maybe serious even or someone may have a poker face i'm getting their description okay but they see you as um, they completely opposite from you they see you as someone who's ever like a ray of sunshine someone who's very bright someone who likes light clothing someone who is a very cute someone who is also manifest a lot of good things in their life okay they they see you as someone who has a very good karma someone who oh, okay that's what i heard okay maybe they believe in these things okay and uh, someone who is also very different from them okay you may have a blonde hair doesn't have to be or they have 
or you may have dyeing your hair in different colors so you like to do that you like to experiment with your looks okay they kind of notice about the changes that you do that you make okay within your appearance okay if you try to impress your crush if you think uh, if they notice your style or not yes they do they do they do uh, notice that they no do notice your makeup changes in your hairstyle clothing whatever that you want them to notice okay whatever the changes that you are doing within your appearance okay and Your crush is saying like you don't have to try so hard to stand out because you already do stand out, okay, in whatever you do. So you you kind of stand stand out for this person, okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. Oh God, she's, she's. I said girly and feminine doesn't have to be okay only that thing okay this is like opening message for someone even if you are a guy watching this they see you as someone who's a very bright someone who really into your touch with their feminine energy but because we have the magician here they I told you they you kind of manifest good things to you very effortlessly okay that's how they see you and they see you as someone who is also very bold and courageous Someone do what they believe in. Someone who has a very strong morals and belief system. Someone who thinks highly about themselves. Someone who is very uh, lo in love with themselves. Someone who is also very hardworking in nature. Someone who thinks about distance. Someone who is a very someone who has a uh, strong vision, and uh, they look far in their future. Okay. How about this Okay. Okay. okay, this one. <laughs> it was kind of a first impression that you are crush have about you, okay? I said the girly and feminine. I, I don't know why, but someone is kind of getting offended because what I said. Because later on, this person realized like how bold and courageous and go-getter you are. How in tune with your masculine energy you are. Okay, pal. Three. Yes, that's how your crush sees you, by the way. With the temperance. And you have a little bit of temper, but you kind of very good at controlling your emotions with the temperance energy. And they kind of see you as someone who is very divinely guided. Someone who is in touch with their like uh, spiritual aspects, very spirituality, okay, spiritual person, okay, they are picking up on that energy. I don't know if this person is also highly intuitive. They they can sense that you have like a very uh, high vibrational energy or your aura is very bright, okay, so they can't ignore you even if they think they can ignore you because with the ace of cups energy there is um, oh this also talks about like potential that they see in you okay they kind of see you as okay in a romantic way for some okay because with the ace of cups is also literally just they are feeling a deeper emotions okay you are kind of opening up their heart space okay because of your energy you they uh, you kind of help this person to kind of opening up um, their heart to the divine love that they they uh, just just flowing within them the universe is trying to give that person okay that's what i'm getting why the emperor is here If you are drawn to pile 1 or pile 2, I guess, you can watch that video, okay? The 3 of Cups in reverse. Wow. Why the reverse? I had a pin. 9 of Wands. Someone likes to watch anime here? Hmm. Like someone is kind of a fan of like uh, enemies to lovers kind of... Uh, anime or movies or dramas okay that's what i'm getting here for some i don't know it's a random message i'm getting <clears throat> you have the lovers card coming up and also the seven of sword wow the knight of wands <clears throat> 
they can speak in front of you or they try to choose they choose silence okay when uh, you are around this person i feel like this person do feel do feel kind of a strong energy strong emotions for you okay but i'm just picking up on like pal ones or pal two's energy is kind of similar reading okay so if you have watched that reading i'm just getting this energy here too that this person feels oh it was like pal two's energy yes pal two's that this person feels like they need to decide whether what to feel about you because uh, with the three of cups in the reverse here Uh, with the hair of it i feel like your uh i just say your crush uh, thinks that you may have a lot of options or you are not uh you are a very like attractive person so uh anyone gets attracted to you easily so they uh they kind of trying to figure their feelings uh about you because this this person feels like um you have a lot of options available and you are not i just hear like player okay i don't know why just okay so take what resonates with you so this person feels like you don't want a commitment or you is it okay because you are too attractive for this person or maybe this person sees you as they're out of their league okay with the hierophant here but they kind of uh, see the divine within you i don't know i'm just getting very spiritual why from you this this uh, your crush sees you as someone who's very spiritual okay with the lover's card and the the, the seven of swords like lovers try to put the lovers here this person feels like they need to decide whether to continue what they are feeling or whether to see through the illusion that they may feel okay that is in their mind okay is in their head with the five of cups energy okay and the homemade card okay this person don't want to get heartbroken by you okay part three okay that's what i'm getting or this person feels like they are not good for you or this person feels like they uh they need to get together themselves i don't know i'm just getting part two's energy here so someone is watching someone wants to watch part two's reading okay the hermit okay so this person loves sad solitude or the, maybe you have the tendency to uh, you know uh, just go silent or just go in a hermit mode like this like you don't you don't talk to people okay unless until you kind of regain your energy and you just come out and shining like this temperance again okay so this person just uh, did, just want to know like where you go what you do when you are away when you are like a disconnected from like uh, social activities or like where you, what what you do okay do you have someone else or that's kind of thing that they have in their mind like this person kind of feeling like do you have someone else and they shouldn't have certain feelings about you or they uh, they need to figure out who you truly are or they are they just are questioning their own feelings here even okay that's what i'm getting uh temperance here the seven of pentacles again and six of wands okay and this also okay you, uh, so your crush also sees you someone who is also very uh, hard working and someone who is uh, destined for success or if you are struggling right now they can see that you are a very um, very hard working person okay they kind of admire you for that and this person feels like whatever success whatever uh, fame and whatever recognition that you have you deserve it okay it's not like they don't see you as they're deserving of your success or deserving of whatever life that you, uh, that that has life has offered you so far or whatever manifestations you have or what if or about your vibes okay that's what i'm getting or about the um uh recognition or you get okay that's what i'm getting like they see you that you are deserving of all that we have the hangman here and the wheel of fortune Honestly, this uh, your crush feels like they need uh, they 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 need at this point they need some sort of miracle. Okay, that's what I'm getting. A miracle can save this person from you. No, <laughs> it's uh, from uh, uh, about their feelings. Okay, okay. Pile three. Honestly, tell me if you have crush on your past person because I feel like you may have a crush on the past person that didn't work out, and you um kind of sometimes you wonder like what this person up to, what this person do, okay? And maybe this is like this your this this is that person, okay? Who may have crush on you, okay? You feel like they don't have chance, but they are kind of wishing. 
for the chance and your crush sees you as uh, someone okay if that's not resonating um, then I feel like this person sees you they are stuck on you they are just think about you quite a lot and, and uh, they they kind of see see you and uh, as like uh, the meeting with you is like a fate okay for like a destiny like uh, God destiny kind of uh, make you come together okay that's what i'm getting that's kind of how they are seeing okay they are seeing this whole situation in a very spiritual way i feel like this your the your crush is going through a major awakening okay if you are already awakened person if you are already an, a spiritual person then this person is awakening to that level maybe you are triggering this person's spiritual uh, awakening okay that's what i'm getting and this person is uh Opening, if awakening to that truth, okay. They okay. Your crush sees you as someone who uh, they uh, they have a like unfinished business with, okay. Something from the past, okay. Maybe you, okay. You may have a past life connection together, and this person is feeling that way, okay. With the moon card here, there is some sort of mystery that they want to solve. They want to know like where this connection is going, and um, where this. Um, not connection maybe where this is meeting is going why did you enter their life okay they are questioning all that thing okay so that's what i have for you pile three i am going to leave it that there and um i'll see you next time bye and peace